hello and welcome back everybody today i am going to bring you a look on creating moana do not fret i do have a top on yes it is there now i'm a little worried about doing moana only because she has dark hair and she's also got a darker skin tone than i do obviously so I am going to be the more pale version of Moana. So to start off with, I'm going to do her chest, well not her chest, but her dress. I shouldn't say more to the point. So to start off with, I am just going to be doing her dress and her necklace. With this, I'm just going to grab any eyeliner pencil that I've got in the drawer or lip or paint or whatever you use, that will do. And I'm just going to start doing her dress. I actually think I might take it up higher than that. Yeah, I reckon I'm just going to pretend that it goes like that. So to paint her necklace and the dress, I'm going to go in with the Mayron Paradise paint palette with these colors here and I'm going to also use the lighter blue in this palette here because on her dress she has markings I am going to paint that bit first so then when it dries I can go over and just directly paint the markings on that way I don't have to worry about um, going in between all the lines and it's a lot easier. I absolutely love this baby blue colour. It is my favourite, definitely my favourite. Also, I forgot to mention if you hear like a sound in the background, I do have my fan on because it is so bloody hot and I can't deal sitting in a 45 degree room doing this with no fan on. So, sorry, but I need it. Okay, so after I have filled all that bit in, I'm just going to grab some white paint and make a small line just above, actually not above, just at the top of the dress. Next, we're going to grab the black paint from the Miron Paradise palette and we are going to outline the necklace and the top of the top. So as you can see, I just went ahead and added the details on the white side. Before I add the details on the blue side, we need to darken it up and make it like an ombre look. So with that, I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to use these blues up in this section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the lightest blue in the palette and just gently work that into that color. I really love the Miron Paradise paints because when you use an eyeshadow on top it sits on this so nice 
It doesn't crack the paint either, which is really, really good. Now that we've got that really nice ombre effect, we're going to go in with the details now. Just looking at her necklace, she's got just line work and some dots. So we are going to go in and put that on. And then very quickly, I'm just going to do the details on her dress. Okay, so now I've just finished the top. Next, I'm going to finish the rest of the necklace and then time to move on to the face and we'll, we'll be all done. So with this next bit, I'm just going to be grabbing some of the brown paint from the same Miron palette and just do squiggly lines. You don't want it to be two straight lines down because you do want it to look like it really is sitting on your neck and how often do you have a necklace that isn't a little bit squiggly like it is never straight when you do these type of looks you do have to keep in mind that you it's different from drawing on just a normal piece of paper or I feel like drawing on a piece of paper if you can do it oh my god that is so much harder well to me it is so much harder next she's just got little um, balls on her necklace so I'm just gonna go in and add a couple of them also you should comment down below what your favorite Disney movie is doesn't matter how new or old I'd love to know what your favorite is and just like that we are now onto the face now she does have really dark eyebrows so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Pro palette in the shade deep brown just to help darken up my eyebrows To help it darken up a little bit more, I'm just going in with a little bit of black eyeshadow, just more on the outer bits of the eyebrow. And then just like any normal brow look, just brush it through and then we're going to carve the brow out. To carve the brow out, today I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Orchard. Orchard? Orchard. That shade. I'm going to admit something, so just then I was just doing a TikTok and this concealer dries very quick and now I'm just trying to move it and it's already like set in place. Who else's life is like that? Seriously. So now all I'm doing, I'm just going over top of the concealer just to soften it down a bit. I don't want to take it down onto my eyelid as we will be painting there so I really just want to blend this line so now we're gonna do the rest of the face I'm gonna go everywhere except for this area here so to start off with I'm just gonna do my usual prime the face for this I'm gonna use the Gloria Mercier primer 
I'm just going to place this everywhere except for the area that I said earlier. This is where the foundation's going to go. The foundation I'm going to use is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Golden Ivory. Is This is kind of off topic of on the character <laughs> that I'm doing but is anybody excited that Lizzie McGuire is coming back literally I love Hilary Duff and I am so excited that they're bringing it back I'm just gonna start on this bottom half of my face first and then I'll do my forehead Now, even though I don't have eyes on yet, I'm still gonna go put ahead, put ahead. I'm still gonna go ahead and put concealer on. So I'm just gonna go on the chin, here, the nose, and that will do for now until I work out the other half. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Light Beige. I'm just going to put this in the same areas. So now that's done, before we continue the rest of the face, I'm now going to put her eyes on. With this, I'm going to be using the same pencil I used at the start to try outline them. What I'm going to do, she doesn't really have big eyes, so I'm going to start it about here and go this way. Now she has very light brown eyes, so I'm just going to go in with that light brown shade right there. With this, I'm going to start off with a smaller brush. I'm going to use the same brush I done all the black on the detail of the dress with. So we're going to start the irises. Looking at my reference photo, like I said, she's got small eyes, but she's got pretty big like pupils and iris. So I'm going to basically do my eye width. So that brown shade's a little bit too light. So what I would do afterwards is go over it with a darker eyeshadow colour. Now because I've mapped out her pupil, I'm now going to go in with the whites of her eyes very, very carefully. So now that I have the base of that eye, I'm going to take the Be Perfect Carnival palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Naked, which is this one right here, just to try to get that colour out a little bit more, but not too dark. So that shadow didn't really do much, so I'm going to step it out to Rowdy. So now I'm just going to go in and add some highlights to the eye, um, put a line around the iris there and add on some lashes for her.
So now that's one eye done, I'm just going to quickly do the other eye off camera. Okay guys, I am back with both eyes all completed. Next we are going to go and move on to contouring, bronzing and put a bit of blush on her end lips and we are all finished. I actually think I'm going to skip the contouring and just do bronzer. I am going to go in with the Paula Benefit bronzer and I'm just going to do that on the forehead and the cheeks and nose and jawline how you normally would. For my next series, I'm not too sure what I should do. I'm kind of thinking to do a little bit from Harry Potter, like that. I love Harry Potter. Literally know every movie back and forth. I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush for the nose. And then I'm gonna go in with the Benefit blush and give her some color on her apples of her cheeks. Now for the lips, I'm going to take two products. I'm going to get the Essence Soft Contouring Pencil and the Colourpop Cross Disney Princess Collection in Ariel's shade. First, I'm just going to go line my lips. Because she has bigger lips than me, I did overline. And then I'm just going to pop the lipstick straight on top. Lucky like last, we cannot forget, doesn't matter if you're a cartoon, character, animal, you need highlight. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Aurea Highlight Palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Eclipse and Luna together and just highlight closer to these areas here. Okay, now we are all done. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts, what you would like to see next or what type of theme you would like me to do. I really enjoyed doing this look today and I will see you next time. Bye!